All right, welcome back to the action here in the second half of basketball between the Pac-Man and the Platypie. Uh, not Platypie. We know that was bound to happen. We've been doing Platypie games all year, and no, it's the faculty. Playing against. I keep trying to get this left hand key, <laughs> and you keep pushing I'm it out sorry. of the way. I'm sorry. It's easy to do that here. We can rest our arms on it. Okay. Well, as we promised, interviews from uh, Platypi members. Maybe that's why I said that. And actually, uh, right now we have my favorite Platypi, Ethan Hickey, also uh, known as the Ecuador Equalizer okay. and a three point. I had never heard that before. I, I haven't either. I have to say. Okay. Well, uh, captain, manager, and founder of the Platypi, Ethan Hickey, is joining us as uh, Josh, uh, not Josh. Brian Saylor puts in a three. Ethan, welcome to the broadcast, your first time. Oh, thank you. It's a great pleasure to be here. So, your season's over. Give us kind of your thoughts as you uh, watch this game. You would have been playing in it, but well, it wasn't to be. Well, I mean, yeah. Our, our season was, was not good, as our as your viewers could probably tell. We had a lot of fun, though. Uh, down to new players, Adam Franklin. I was I was very pleased with Adam Franklin this year. I have to say, kind of found him out of nowhere, really. Freshman Adam Franklin, as we saw, made a difference late in the season for the Platypi. Now, how much do you think that it hurt you that another was that a three there? Another no two. Uh, how much do you think it hurt you that your uh, Jonathan Neal wasn't able to join you for the rest of the season after he left during the uh, preseason? Well, I'm not gonna lie, it definitely hurt us a lot. He meant a lot to this team, and, you know, he left for his own reasons, and we respect that, and, you know, we wish him the best in his endeavors, but, yeah, we could definitely abuse him. And do you think it hurt the team that you guys didn't have a coach uh, on the sidelines that was able to be there for you guys? You know, probably. It's hard, it's hard trying to run a team from the floor, especially when you're prone to get angry like I am. Yeah, we could definitely have used a guiding force on our team, I think. Okay, now we have to ask you, we've talked about this many times, why Platypi? We have not been able to figure it out, and we're even fuzzy on what actually a Platypi is or does. We know where it lives, but fill us in on that, uh, and the viewers. If, if I'm going to be honest, I picked a random animal that sounded funny. All right. That, that is it. It was either that or hedgehogs. 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 Well, maybe yes. that's an option for next year. Yes. Maybe we could uh, have your viewers send in some, some suggestions. That's not a bad idea. Now, as we watch the uh, the, the Pac-Man play here, every single member of that team is from Long Third, so there's got to be some good chemistry there. The Platypi maybe started off last year as an all-hall team, but it kind of morphed into several different halls. I think that played a factor in you guys maybe not being as good this year. That definitely played a big part. That and... You know, game in, game out, it was hard to have the same lineup as people just had prior commitments, especially Brian and Steve. It was hard not having them there every game. 51-37 our score, so not much headway made by the uh, faculty in the first four minutes of this one. But yeah, we enjoyed doing the games, and for the most part in the first half, you guys put on a show for us, and sometimes in the second half, actually against this very Pac-Man uh, Pac team, so we thank you for that, uh, keeping our broadcast interesting when we had nothing else to talk about but basketball. <laughs> well, uh, we appreciate you guys filming us, even if we don't win any games. We hope that we're at least entertaining for everyone out there. And definitely, uh, sure, not any games won this year, but we'll be right back here next year, maybe 11 months from now. We are already looking forward to it, I think it's fair to say. You know, it is actually. I'm not sure. Another three there. I can go all 11 months without having blah ha ha in my life, <laughs> right? And I think we might have to find some other avenues for this. Well, we've already thought of one, although we hope it doesn't happen. Blah ha hospital, in case one of us <laughs> falls off this platform. Uh, we promise to keep the cameras rolling if that happens. At least one of us. Dayton Medical Center always exciting, especially in the later night hours. True. Maybe not quite into cutting at the Brian College College Clinic. Well, thankfully that's closed uh, when you maybe need them the most because <laughs> I would not want to go there 
if I was really in pain or needed help. You know, right in another avenue, perhaps, is a blah ha ha bowling. True, we could try that. Our bowling adventure is usually quite comical, especially I have... <laughs> when I'm sitting up at a lane. True. Now, speaking of the poly clinic not being much help, one person that did seem to help was our former homemate, Zach Harrison. He always seemed to make up pretty well when he went. He'd get some pretty good prescriptions from them. You know, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's just because he was a more demanding guy. Or... Yeah, and now we're not talking z pack here. That was that was universal. He was getting uh, some good stuff, like muscle relaxants and stuff like that for his back. I guess the bed gave him problems. It may have been that he slept in his chair so much, but... You know, it might have been that he slept in a bed formerly occupied by Chad Byers. Maybe. That the could, legends that of could Chad be Byers and the things that went on while him and Elijah Amons had the uh, room which I currently inhabit. Now, uh, now, Helms, that brings up an interesting point. You you say Amons and I say Ammon. What what is the correct correct pronunciation on that? I have no idea. This <laughs> okay. guy, um, he's he's an interesting guy, and I'm not sure how he would pronounce it. He has a pretty unique pretty voice short there, and a Nick. pretty unique way of talking. So I'm really not sure. How does he say it? Do you know? I haven't heard him say it in so long, I'm not sure I don't even know where he is anymore. All right. I think he lives in the townhouses, which is equivalent to not knowing where someone is these days. The townhouses? If our Two world there was... By, I don't know who that was. That looks like uh, Luke. If our campus was a map of the world from the 1600s, the townhouses would be off the edge of it. <laughs> so, great. Uh, well, we have Ethan on here, I have to ask, Ethan, how do you feel about the South American country of Argentina? Well, uh, Helms, I don't know if I can comment on Argentina. I've never been there. <laughs> However, we, we do know that former platypi Jonathan Neal's girlfriend, Leah, is currently there. And we think that probably played a factor in him leaving the team. We do not have any views from Argentina or any South American country, so it's clear that, we that know she has not caught on to the broadcast yet, although I'm sure... Hey, Tim, was that Tim Cheddar for two points? Hey, well, we talked about wanting to see him, and our, our recording this second half pays off. We can stop right here and go home happy, I think. You know, we could, but I don't want to, because he might do it again. All right, we'll stay right here. That was two. We could see a three. That would be really impressive. He was making some uh, before the game started in warm-up, so he's capable. They're great you said that we didn't have any viewers in South America, but I'm not sure we can confirm that. I mean, we really don't know who all is watching this. Well, part. you know, we look on the viewing chart there on the YouTube thing, and it doesn't show anyone from South American countries, mostly contrary here in North America now, but you never know. Uh, you never do. In recent years, we have reached out to Canada and some South American countries, so you never know. Every Anything is possible. Also Australia, home of the platypi. Yes. You know, I think if ever, uh, former Governor Schwarzenegger has been watching, there's no telling uh, who all else is watching. That's true. 53-45, so the uh, faculty making a run here cut the lead to uh, eight. Closest it's been in a while, EJ. No, won't, that one won't go, so the faculty are going to have a chance of cutting this lead a little farther. The faculty are going to need to move a little by faster EJ. than that if they want to keep in this one. Oh, that one won't go. He's missed two in a row. That one was a lay. Oh. But look at that skill. The Pac-Man just not getting the break. And there you go. That was, looked like that was three. It's like I always say, Great, and if you don't keep that ball sooner or later, something's going to fall for the opponent. All right, well, in this final minute, Ethan, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're sorry the season didn't work out better for you, but we look forward to uh, what will happen next year. Oh, well, thank you for having me, and thank you for sticking with us. We'll definitely... Definitely try to pick up that first win next year. Absolutely. All right, we're going to watch this one last possession by the faculty, then go to our first break of the second half. 56-45 our score. 11 minutes to go. A bad decision to pass that. All right, well, with that uh, whistle, we're going to go to a break here. 10.48 to go, 56.45 our score in favor of the Pac-Man. We'll be right back here on... Wah-ha-ha -ha -ha basketball!